What is up everybody, my name is Justin French, covering music for those who care, and right now I'm going to do something a little different on this channel and actually take a look at the Grammy nominations that were actually just revealed a little bit ago. So, let me not waste any time and get into this. So, the first category I have pulled up is Record of the Year, and the contenders are Redbone by Childish Gambino, Despacito by Louis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee featuring Justin Bieber. Nope. Uh, Story of OJ by Jay-Z, Humble by Kendrick Lamar, and 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars. Uh, it's going to be a tie for me. My personal choice would either be Redbone or Humble by Kendrick Lamar, but I have a feeling they're probably going to give it to Despacito. Album of the Year. We have Awaken My Love by Childish Gambino, 444 by Jay-Z, Damn by Kendrick Lamar, Melodrama by Lord, and 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars. I want to give it to Lord. I think that album was pretty brilliant. I really like that uh, that whole entire album. None of those songs really failed to strike my interest, but I have a feeling they're probably going to give it to Damn, Kendrick Lamar, but I, that's a good album too. I ain't going to lie. Uh, next one we have is Song of the Year. We have Despacito, uh, Louis Fonzie, Daddy Yankee, Justin Bieber, 444 by Jay-Z, Issues by Joy Michaels, 1-800-273-8255 by Logic featuring Alessia Cara and Khalid. And That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. Um, I think I'd have to give it to 1-800-273-8255. That's a pretty good song, but I have a feeling they're probably going to give it to Despacito. Next we have Best New Artist. We have Alessia Cara, Khalid, Lil Uzi Vert. No. Julian Michaels and SZA. Um, my personal choice is probably going to be SZA. I think Control was a pretty good R&B album, but uh, they'll probably give it to, I say, either Lil Uzi Vert or Khalid. Uh, next one we have is for Best Pop Solo Performance. We have Love So Soft by Kelly Clarkson, Praying by Kesha, Million Reasons by Lady Gaga, What About Us by Pink, and Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Kind of weird because uh, Ed Sheeran... Is the only guy in this category. <laughs> um, I think, in my personal opinion, I think Praying should get it. Just because I like the overall message and how that song really came together. But for me, I have a feeling they'll probably give it to... Um, either Pink or Ed Sheeran. Uh, next one we have is by Best Pop Duo Group Performance. Something just like this by Chainsmokers and Coldplay. Mm -mm. Despacito again. Thunder by Imagine Dragons. Feel It Still by Portugal the Man and Stay by Zed and Alicia Cara. There's only one good song in here. I actually don't mind Feel It Still. But I have a feeling I'll probably give it to Despacito. Alright, next one we have is Best Pop Vocal Album. We have Kaleidoscope EP by Coldplay, Lust for Life by Lana Del Rey, Evolve by Imagine Dragons, Rainbow by Kesha. Joanne by Lady Gaga and Divide by Ed Sheeran. I want it to be Kesha's Rainbow. I think that was a pretty great, fantastic return. Uh, but I have a feeling they'll probably give it to probably either Imagine Dragons or Ed Sheeran. All right. Next, we got Best Rock Performance. Um, ooh, yikes. Uh, so Best Rock Performance, we have two lost icons. First one we have is You Want It Darker by Leonard Cohen, who passed away sadly last year, or earlier this year, I think, actually. The Promise by Chris Cornell, he passed away earlier this year, so rest in peace, Chris and Leonard. Run by Foo Fighters, No Good by Kaleo, I don't know how to pronounce it, and Go to War by Nothing More. My personal opinion, I'd want Go to War, but I have a feeling they'll probably give it to either Leonard Cohen or Chris Cornell. And then we got... Best Metal Performance, which is Sultan's Curse by Mastodon, Invisible Enemy by August Burns Red, Black Hoodie by Body Count, Forever by Cold Orange, and Clockworks by Meshuggah. Uh, my opinion, I want Sultan's Curse or Black Hoodie to win, but I have a feeling, well, maybe Mastodon might walk away with this one, actually. Uh, best Rock Song, we have... A Last Rise, which is weird because Metallica's metal, they should be in that category. Uh, Blood in the Cut by K Flay, I never heard of her. Go to War by Nothing More, Run by Foo Fighters, or The Stage by Avenged Sevenfold. There's a three way tie for what I want to win. At Last Rise, well, two. I'm not a big fan of At Last, At Last Rise, but that might walk away with it. Go to War was a pretty good track. Uh, that and The Stage, 
one of those two are definitely going to win. Uh, next one is Best Rock Album, Emperor of Sand by Mastodon, Hardwired to Self-Destruct again in the rock category by Metallica, The Stories We Tell Ourselves, Nothing More, Villains by Queens of the Stone Age, and A Deeper Understanding by The War on Drugs. I want either Mastodon or Nothing More to walk away with the title. Best Alternative Album, we have Everything Now by Arcade Fire. I'm not a big Arcade Fire fan. Humans by Gorillaz, American Dream by LCD Sound System, Pure Comedy by Father John Misty, and Sleep Well Beast by The National. I think Pure Comedy, I want that one to walk away with the title. Best Rap Performance, Bounce Back by Big Sean, Bodak Yellow by Cardi B, 444 by Jay-Z, Humble by Kendrick Lamar, and Bad and Bougie by Migos featuring Lil Uzi Vert. I hope Humble walks away with it. Best Rap Song. I have no idea who some of these people are. Uh, Bodak Yellow by Cardi B. You already know my opinion. Chase Me, Danger Mouse featuring Run the Jewels and Big Boy. Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Sassy by Rhapsody and The Story of OJ by... Jay-Z, I hope Kendrick walks away with the title on that one. And then we have Best Rap Album, 444 by Jay-Z, Damn by Kendrick Lamar, Culture by Migos, Lelia's Wisdom by Rap City, and Flower Boy by Tyler the Creator. Uh, it's a tie between I like, I really loved Tyler's last album, and Damn, but I have a feeling Damn's going to walk away with the title of that or 444. Then we have some of the country music artists with uh, Best Country Solo Performance, Body, with a, Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt, Losing You, Alison Krauss, Tin Man by Miranda Lambert, I Could Use a Love Song by Maren Morris, and Either Way by Chris Stapleton. I hope Chris Stapleton walks away with the title, but I have a feeling it's probably going to be given to Sam Hunt, unfortunately. Uh, best Country Duo Group Performance, It Ain't My Fault by Brothers Osborne, My Old Man by Zach Brown Band, you Look Good, Lady Antebellum, Better Man by Little Big Town, and Drinkin' Problem by Midland. I'd want Lady Antebellum to win. That was a pretty catchy song. But I have a feeling they'll probably give it to either Zach Brown Band or Little Big Town. Best Country Song, we have Better Man, Little Big Town, Buddy Like a Backroads, Sam Hunt, Broken Halos by Chris Stapleton, Drinkin' Problem by Midland again, and Tin Man by Miranda Lambert. I hope... Broken Halos or Better Man walks away with that title, but I have a feeling it'll be Body Like a Back Road. And Album of the Year, we have Cosmic Hallelujah by Kenny Chesney, Heartbreak, Lady Antebellum, The Breaker by Little Big Town, Life Changes by Thomas Wright, which was an okay album, and From a Room Volume 1, Chris Stapleton, Chris Stapleton. I think he's going to win that one. And then we've got... Oh, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. So that's what I hope is going to win for the Grammys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can click right over here to see what I'm going to be doing next. If you would like to catch up on a previous video, you can click right over here to see what's going to be happening next or just watch my previous review or something. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my predictions. I'll probably do a react whenever that happens. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.